everybody, Bison Patty here, little TT2, and we're here today with just a little walk around the yard during the very first snowfall, and I'm going to record it in my Colors of Winter Little Golden Book Journal. Come on along. I think I made this journal last year, but I used it at the very beginning of this year, like January, February into March for some winter journaling. I never finished it. I plan on finishing it up this winter though. So it'll probably go into January, February of 2023. And that's good. Another journal will be done. And also that journal right there, the monster journal back on the shelf which is my Christmas in July slash December daily slash whatever I want to put in it journal. Cosmic smashing is my fave thing to do. And then I'll have two more journals finished. Does that mean I can start four more? I think that's the rule. For every one you finish, you can start two. Well, anyway, before you join me at the table, why don't you take a little walk with me around the yard for our very first snowfall of the season. We had about three to four inches of some very wet snow last night. And now the sky is blue, the sun is out, and the first snow is always just a little bit magical. Down here at my feet are some deer tracks in the snow going off in that direction over there. And what she's doing is going from plant to plant and eating my bushes that I planted. This is a, I think this is a mountain laurel here that she's eaten. I love to watch the little snowbirds, the little dark-eyed juncos. They're always hopping around in the snow this time of year, looking for the seeds that the other birds spill out of the bird feeder. The birds are letting me get pretty close today. They're just so busy eating. They don't mind me standing right here while they eat. Very quiet out here today. Mr. Possum already plowed the driveway because it's supposed to get very cold tonight. We didn't want everything to freeze. Oh, look, there's Stanley. Let's go check out and see what he's doing. Hi, Stanley. What's up? Oh, you're making a snowman. Good job, Stanley. Well, I know parts of the country have had terrible blizzards and snowstorms, deadly storms actually, and um, blessings and bubbles out to those people uh, who've had to deal with the terrible, terrible weather. But today's walk was just, you know, a small three or four inches of snow just to turn the world into a winter wonderland that makes it lovely to go out for a walk. So, you know, roads got cleared pretty quickly, no power outages, you know, just a magical little snowstorm to enjoy. So maybe the people down south were enjoying this more than the people like say up in Buffalo cause they've had their fill of snow already. And all I did was print out the picture of Stanley with his little snowman and I put a sticker 
of a little winter hat there on top of the snowman. And I am just going to stick this. I don't know, maybe I give it a border. And I was going to write right on the page and hope the pen doesn't go through. Wait, stand by. So many scraps <laughs> from Christmas papers. I don't know why. I don't know why, but maybe since this is so bluish and purplish, just something to put behind the picture. So I want a contrasting color. Oh, this looks nice. Oh yeah, perfect. And I could even cut a piece here to do some journaling. I don't know if I want to cover all that up though. Decisions, decisions. All right, I'm gonna put Stanley on here. Yes, I've been watching on the news and it's just been terrible for some people. Traveling, people couldn't get home for the holiday. Or had trouble, delays. Yeah, a friend of my sister's who joined us on Christmas Day was so upset when she found out her daughter was delayed and she thought she was going to be all alone for Christmas and she was crying. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible. But the people had to go through for the holiday. So this is Stanley's first snowman. Look at all these scraps. And those are just the little scraps. <laughs> this is the big bag of scraps and it's very heavy too. Need to be using my scraps. And my glue is here somewhere. I probably have enough journaling to fill like I was talking about this journal and the monster journal. I just have to do it. I look at my phone and there's a lot in there. I just need to print out some pictures and do some journaling pages and write some memories and they will be done. So this is going to be easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy, as we like to say. I always have a corner that doesn't want to stay down. Okay, I'm going to leave all of this just like that because this is one of the original pages of the story for the colors of winter. And the original story had a page for each, page or two actually, for each color. And this is white is out the window, look at all the snow. So I thought that would be perfect to put Stanley and his little snowman on there. I wanted to leave that little rabbit and the snow and the trees just the way they were. There's a couple little snowflakes on there. So I did my little bit of journaling with a Micron. This is a very small tip one, it's 005 archival ink. I like these because when I like sketch a picture, I like to go over the lines with a micron pen and then use watercolors and the pen ink doesn't run. I just wrote December 12th, 22, first magical snowfall, almost four inches, walked about the yard, deer tracks, dark eyed juncos, black cap chickadee at the feeder, Stanley built his first snowman. And that is it.
for this page. And when I got out my Micron, I remembered I was over at Michael's. I had gotten my $5 uh, rewards back. So I went in to buy something with my $5. And I also had a 40% off coupon. Now these Micron pens can be like $3 and change each separate, bought separately. So a pack of three is $9.99. Of course, Michael's a little bit expensive. You always have to use your coupon. 40% off takes it down to, say, $6. And then a $5 coupon. Yes, these cost me $1. And I got a 01, 05, and a 10. And I haven't used a 10 yet. It's a much larger point, but this is going to be interesting. And they didn't have any black. They didn't have too many. But I think thought I would try this and they're like a gray color but I figured why not for one dollar I will try this and let's see piece of paper here this is watercolor paper I don't want to use that so this is the 10 in cool gray Oh, that is very nice, yes. Very, very nice. It's gonna be a little bit different for me. I'm used to using black. I do have Microns in other colors, but I don't think I've ever used this color. And this is the 05, which I use a lot. So this is 05. And I should have drawn a line. This is 010. If you want to make it darker, just go over it again. Kind of nice. Kind of a soft color for a change instead of this dark black. And this is the 01. Much smaller point there for finer details. Not bad. It's going to be fun playing with these. So for one dollar I got a really nice set of Microns. Even the cashier lady said, um, <laughs> she said, that's the way to shop. <laughs> I said, yes it is. That is possum shopping for sure. So I will play with those because my goal in 23 in the new year is to do more artsy stuff and so instead of buying more journaling paper which I don't need I bought those pens and I will have fun playing with those oh look I use that paper here oh where was I back here here it is okay so very simple page. I just wanted to get it journaled about. I have a few more things I want to put in here, but I will put them in a different video. So this is just how easy nature journaling can be. I have the date, what happened. I have an amount. I wrote four inches. That's quantitative. Uh, qualitative, it was magical. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like your feelings about it. Things I saw, deer tracks, dark-eyed juncos, black-capped chickadee at the feeder. Now I could have written that the dark-eyed juncos were looking for seeds on the ground. And that would have been probably a little bit better, a little bit more information there. And maybe I can write it in here somewhere. I kind of, <laughs> kind of ran out of room down here, but that's okay. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do that now. What do you think? What do you think about that? I know it's not gonna be in order, but you know, this is a journal. This is a journal, just do it, just do it. So the, oops, I almost spelled it wrong. Junkos, hopping about in the snow. 
All right, just added a little more information. So now I'm happy. Saw the juncos hopping about in the snow. And then I start back at the beginning, December 12th, first magical snowfall. That's quite all right. No problem. It's journaling. The journaling police will not come after me for adding a little bit up there at the top. And there's banging at the door, and that is Miss Stinky Winky Woo. She wants to come in and join Miss Titi and me for some journaling. So I'm going to wish everybody happy junk journaling. And stay warm and cozy out there if you've had some of that snowy blizzard. Thanks for coming along today. Bye-bye.